Yay, it's time for stuff. So, sorry if that sounded a little weird, <laughs> but I um, got some stuff to share with you guys, and most of it is bookish related. Um, as I explained in my, I think the last one I did about maybe two months ago, um, I don't really unhaul like digital content, but that's mostly what I read just because it's good for my budget. But um, I do also purchase print content. I purchase audio content. I don't discriminate when it comes to reading a good book. So anyway, I'm going to start with something that I won. And as you guys know, I'm not always the most prepared for these videos. So any information that's required that I don't say, I will add somewhere on the screen later. But um, this creator um, of comic books, I supported a couple Kickstarters, and then they launched a YouTube channel, and it was basically like a giveaway they were doing for like some of their followers and supporters. And so I got a volume one graphic novel of The Wretches and a cool sticker, and I'm very excited about it. And... Um, just for like being a supporter, you know, um, I believe in, you know, giving back. And so I was happy to have that. All right. The rest of the things that I have here are bargain purchases that my husband found for us. Um, I have the Batman Catwoman wedding album deluxe edition. It's shiny here. It's matte here. It's just feels nice. You know, I don't do a lot of hardcovers, but this feels nice. And then, of course, the pictures are amazing. I'm not going to show you all of them, but there's that. You know, so this is, this is nice. I don't why I do it. Okay. Let's look at some of the other stuff we have. He found a manga, Batman, the hero... Kuwata, that manga, volume two. I wonder if he knew it was volume two when he got it. We'll find volume one later, but this looks really cool. This is the cover. And, you know, it's a traditional manga. You made it start from the back, work to the front, that kind of thing. You never read, read manga. Pretty awesome, like that. Um, He got this. For me, just because he knows I've read other um, Lovecraftian um, anthologies, and so he found me a Call of Cthulhu graphic novel. So it's weird. Like I don't consider myself like a hardcore Lovecraftian fan. Some of the stuff is too weird for me, but I do like it. I mean, it's interesting the story um, that people come up with, um, all based on this idea that this guy, you know, created. I love the fact that it has been reimagined in many ways to bring light to, you know, issues and things like that. I'm not going to get too much into that, but I love me a good Cthulhu story. So he picked that up just for me. Um, we have a Sandman Overture by Mel Gaiman. So I don't think this is, um, I think this is, he has his same in here, and I guess this is like um, an, a, an a companion to that. And so it looks super psychedelic because if you know anything about the Sandman series, it's, it's out there. And I am like freaking out because I just saw video footage on YouTube where he's like on the set of a series that they're going to do on Netflix for um, the Sandman, and I'm, I'm very excited about it. It was kind of like when I saw the set footage for the Dark Crystal series. They have got to do a season two of that. I mean, that that was just, some people didn't like it, and that's fine, but I need a season two. Anyway, that's my Sandman overture. And, oh, this, <laughs> this is for him. Well, no, I guess this one could be for This is Red Hood and the Outlaws. So this, sometimes he likes to pick up a new title for us to try. Um, 
So if, I'm not going to get into the whole um, background of who the Red Hood is. If you know who that is, this is a series that we haven't um, picked up before. So we, he got um, volume one for us to try out and see if we like it. And if we do, we'll, we'll keep reading it. So that's my graphic novel stuff. And let's see here. I am very excited. Sorry, I keep disappearing off camera. That my um, book club is actually doing a graphic novel this this time around. Um, we are reading George Takai's um, "They Called Us Enemy," and um, I'm, I have an ebook version of it. Um, I will acquire a print one later on, but I actually forgot that we were reading it. So I was like, "Let me just go ahead and download this real quick so I can start reading it," because <laughs> I'm the type of person who reads multiple books at once. And if I don't start now, I'll never finish it by the deadline. Because I just I go back and forth, you know. Anyway. So that was my bookish stuff. I don't have a whole lot to go into this one, but um, I do have three more little things. Um, I have some housewarming gifts. And the friend who gave us this, it was so amazing because no one has really been to our house other than my mom and dad. Recently, my grandmother who came to visit us from Texas has been over. But no one has really been in our house since we moved in because we've been getting settled in and life is crazy. And so she gave us these salt and pepper shakers that are blue and white. And she like almost like her mouth dropped to the floor when she came into our house because she was like, I thought they were cute, but I didn't realize how well they suited you because when you walk into my house, there's this whole blue and white theme. My grandmother has decided to give me my inheritance early just because, you know, that if you know my grandmother, which we call her Mimo. <laughs> That's just how she's, she's very practical. And so she's, you know, downsizing, you know, getting things out of the way, taking care of business. So she's like, if this is what you want, let me go ahead and give it to you now. And my inheritance is her collection of Dutch china, which is blue and white. And so um, I have it. I don't have it on display yet because I want the place that I have it that I'm going to be displaying to be more secure before it's actually out. But I have the rest of the room decorated to match it. And so... These are my little salt and pepper shakers that my friend got just because she thought I'd like them. She thought they were cute. She had no idea that this was going to be the whole, like, theme of my um, front room because I got my inheritance early. <laughs> All right. So um, the next thing is another little thing. Um, I think I showed you a blanket in the last one, but here's another blanket that someone has given me as a housewarming gift. And not that I need another blanket, but I, I always blankets. I can never have too many blankets. So that's another one. And this one, um, I thought I showed it already, but if I did, sorry. I went on vacation in May and it was kind of relaxing, kind of not. That's a whole other story. But they had this little gift shop that we bought all these wonderful preserves and jams and things that they had there. And um I don't know if you guys know, but my, my dog, Margie, she is a uh, coon hound mix. She's a hound dog mix. And um, I just love hound dogs. I like their little floppy ears. And so the, com the brand of the little place, I'm going to show you the T-shirt here. Look, it has hound dogs on there. Look at those hound dogs. And this one right here looks like my Margie. Yeah. So I got that from the souvenir shop. Thought I'd share it with you guys. So that's the stuff I've acquired. I mean, of course, there's probably more stuff that I've acquired. I have to stop acquiring so much stuff, you know. But <laughs> that's what I had. So what do you think about any of that stuff? Um, I'd love to know some stuff that you've gotten recently. And, uh, yeah, that's all I have for now, guys. Stay safe. Bye-bye.